up guys time to show off another Kraken build this one uh, okay Google volume down this one is very similar to the one I just built but many people were playing for it and Joe needed one very close to it so we've got ourselves an orange and black Kraken build uh, same style dial as before same style hands um, except for the second hand that is a different style seconds and this is in a Cerakoted 160 case which I've only done maybe four 160 cases ever uh, Kraken engraved crown uh, this has the same style dial the lasered out backside loomed this has a black PVD coin bezel on it instead um, same style diver insert black with orange Anodized orange. I've got a signed silver rotor in there and a low profile exhibition case back. And then this is on one of my super soft black with orange stitch bands with a black seracoded and engraved preview buckle. Going out to Joe. This, I don't know, Joe has probably 30 builds from me at least at this point um, show off the backside limb and there we go bezel on it's decently tight it goes left goes right it's a little bit tighter due to the Cerakote makes a tolerance is just a little bit tighter uh, automatic mechanical, like 99% of them. Um, back off the crown to wind it. Wind is turned that way. Turning it towards you doesn't do anything. But much easier to just go back and forth with the winding. If you do it for 4 or 5 seconds before you put it on, even if you're not very active, you'll keep time throughout the day. And if you do it for something closer to 15 seconds, you're going to max out that 31 plus hour power reserve on it. Cannot overwind it, so don't worry about that. One click, set the time. Okay, Google, what time is it? 6.31 p.m. Push it over, get it out of that time setting. Wind it down, there's the build. As always, matching beads. We've got some blacks in there. We've got some, uh, I don't remember what they call these. They're, they don't call them titanium, but they it's, it's like a darker steel. Uh, and some orange. So coming in a gray Kraken box. Now he has so much watch cleaner, leather conditioner, uh, and scratch remover that I won't throw any of that in there for him. He's just stockpiling at this point. But we'll get the um, protective microfiber on it. So watch cleaner is good uh, on the watch itself. Leather conditioner keeps the strap perfectly soft, and then the scratch remover is for the acrylic glass in case it scratches. can be applied and just buffed right out. If you ever scratch a Cerakote, if you're not all the way down to the bottom, you'd use gun oil, and that will help. Um, but it's pretty abrasive resistant. Um, but if you're grinding against it, it's just like a car. You will grind it off. Um, so if you would... You'd only add some character to it, so it'd have some like silver lines. You'd want to scratch it in a few other spots. But for now, it's in a nice black color. You've got a good uh, break in the shininess there with this matte uh, coin bezel. And then back to some shine with this uh, anodized aluminum. So there's the build. Joe, I appreciate you a ton, man. Thank you so much for reaching out. We kind of went through this together, figuring out what case would be good for it, what bezel he'd like. I tried a bunch of different uh, different inserts, but the one that I did before, he still liked. Same with the hands. And obviously it came out good before. It's going to come out good again. So uh, there's your build, buddy. Appreciate you a ton. If you want me to build you something custom and unique, reach out and I'll see what I can do. And if you want to continue to see videos like this, like and subscribe as I put them up all the time. Thanks, guys.